photosynthesis we know very well photosynthesis consists of light reaction and dark reaction right even in case of light reaction there exists two types of photosystem that is photosystem 1 photosystem 2 but how we came to know that there exists two photosystem answer lies in the very concept of red dwarf phenomena in the immersion effect this is dr pankaj kumar and today i will explain you the very concept of the red dwarf phenomena and the immersion effect you know this experiment was conducted by Emerson. He was doing experiment with uh, green algae chlorella and what he was doing? He was trying to uh, calculate the photosynthetic yield. Now, he was calculating the photosynthetic yield after giving a monochromatic beam of light. If I say monochromatic beam, what does it mean? It means that light of one wavelength. So, what he observed that when he have given a light of uh, uh, one single wavelength let it be violet and he calculated the photosynthetic yield and following the wavegur he uh, went up to red what he observed there was a linear increase in the photosynthetic yield okay but after the red region there was a sudden decrease in the photosynthetic yield so this drop was actually referred to as a red drop phenomena okay uh, you can uh, see in the uh, the graph as well right now you can see there so this is a graph right that uh, there is a photosynthetic uh, in, increase in the yield but beyond red region there is a sudden decrease right this was actually referred to as a photosynthetic yield now the second set of experiment was that uh, he explained uh, the enhancement in the photosynthetic yield and for this what what he did he has given the two superimposed beams of light one of longer wavelength, second of shorter wavelength. So, when the two different source of lights of different wavelength were given to a chlorella, it was observed that there was a sudden increase in the photosynthetic yield. Okay. So, this sudden increase in photosynthetic yield was actually referred to as a immersion enhancement effect. Again, I would like to draw your attention towards the graph. You can see in the graph. Suppose, if I use a wavelength of lower wavelength and this is the photosynthetic yield right and if I use the longer wavelength then this is the photosynthetic yield. Now, these when we are using it separately, but when, when we are using it combined what will happen there is a sudden increase in the photosynthetic yield. Okay. So, this sudden increase was actually referred to as a immersion enhancement effect. Now, what was the reason? What was the conclusion? The conclusion was that the photosynthetic phenomena or this particular yield is going to occur due to the very presence of two different photosystem, photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Now, photosystem 1 has a reaction center P700, right and that is present in both stromal as well as the granule lamellae, okay. but if you talk about photosystem 2, they have a reaction center P680 okay, and they are present primarily in granule lamellae. In both of them, there is a chlorophyll A and B. They are actually made up of chlorophyll A and B. But if you compare, then in case of photosystem 1, the amount of chlorophyll A is much, much more in comparison to the amount of chlorophyll in uh, photosystem 2. Okay? So, this experiment eventually conclude that uh, there exist two photosystem. One operates at a longer wavelength and second operates at the shorter wavelength and if both are operating together naturally the photosynthetic yield will be more. There is a many a time this question is asked that uh, 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 in, in, in red drop phenomena why there is a uh, failure of or, or, or what, what is or which photosystem is not going to operate. Okay. The answer is the photosystem 1 or 2. What is your answer? You see, the moment we increase the wavelength, what will happen? That the wavelength that is going to operate at the lower one is going to be out of the range, isn't it? So, that's why photosystem 2 will not operate. Okay. So, red drop phenomena leads to the failure of the photosystem 2. That's all what I have to discuss as far as the red drop phenomena and immersion effect is concerned. Thank you.